Here we are. In Subic Bay. Psh. Yep, there's the sign. Subic Bay. Well, where all the tourists go. Yeah. You can w walk along the waterfront here and there's a bunch of bars. Yeah, and we are going to explore the nightlife here. Espro. And it's our duty for you. Explore or explore? <laughs> Espro. Explore? <laughs> yeah. We're like Magellan. Let's go. So we thought we'd come down and walk on the boardwalk here and we're starting at the lighthouse. But this lighthouse is the hotel lighthouse. Now I will share my estimated cost of living to retire early cheap on $1,006 per month in Subic Bay in the Philippines, including estimated rents, utilities, groceries, restaurants, transportation, and entertainment. But first, I will show you around Subic Bay so you will know whether or not you're even interested in retiring early for cheap here. And also, it's a, you have a place that you can cheer for a beer or something as well. Yeah. See the chair over there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> feeling like chilling for a beer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway, that's the lighthouse and there's a swimming pool and there's some spots, shady spots and places to sit. It's very nice. This is in front of the lighthouse. There's a bunch of boats here. Oh, this is a boardwalk here. Cute little boardwalk here. Yeah. This is the Subic Park Hotel here, right on the boardwalk. Got a little pool there. Couple of expats we met in um, Angeles said not to swim in the water here. I guess it's been it's not fit for swimming. So you, if you want to swim, definitely get a hotel with with a pool. Chung wants to go in here and see if they have coffee or cake or something to cool off. Hello. Mm. Out, out on the bay is beautiful. Mm. 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 It's yummy. It's vanilla ice cream, and then they pour a shot of um, espresso over it. And it has a little chocolate in it too. So. I was walking around. But it's very very hot. Very hot. And I see this um, this place is very cute. Then I say, yeah, yeah, let's go. We go for a cool off. Have a cake or coffee or something. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's a nice treat. <laughs> this is the Harbor Point Mall. Hey, Toys R Us. We were. This is where the bus drop is. Yeah, this is where the bus drop us here. They're teaching a class on driving rules, right of way rules, section 42-A. I wonder if it's like a class they have to go to for breaking the law or what, I don't know. Chung loves this brand. Whenever we walk by, she has to go in and look. It's a Japanese brand. They have these national bookstores all over the Philippines. They still do printed books here. The reason I'm telling you is someone asked me about that on the channel. Uniqlo, another brand she likes. Very beautiful place. Someone's looking for pizza now. Here for the uh, plant based whooper. Look, this is a plant based. The happy face of Dan <laughs> in a Burger King.
So this is the Subic Bay Yacht Club. Very beautiful. And all of this land we're on now used to be the US Naval Base. This Yacht Club, of course, was built after the US Navy left in 1991. Wow, that's a beautiful boat right there. Look at that. It's a, a catamaran. It has two holes. Very beautiful. People have an idea of what the Philippines is, but the Philippines is many things, many places. No, nowhere is that more apparent than, than in a, a yacht harbor. Very nice. It's uh, evening time in the Subic Bay here, and th there's a jet ski, not the jet ski banana boat, but no one over there. Subic Bay. Here we are. In Subic Bay. Psh. Yep, there's a sign. You can walk along the waterfront here and there's a bunch of bars. Yeah, and we are going to explore the nightlife here. Espro. And it's our duty for you. Explore or explore? <laughs> From that Subic Base sign, if you start to go, I think it's north, um, you see all these restaurants. I'm going to check it out. Okay. So we chose the bar here because I like the design here. Then uh, we have a beer and we will walk around because the live music starts at 7 30. Yeah. The bar here is called Baja, I think, and then the uh, beer is uh, 8 here. This is a very local Filipino club here. Public market for Langapo, the city we're in. That's the city next to Subic Bay. And we're gonna take you in there and show you what it looks like. Langapo Public Market. Yes, sir. Hello. Thank you. This is a rice package. This is a rice. Oh, this is a rice. 
Ay, wala suka ha, Ben. Wala suka ako, hindi nilisip na lang. Ay, abay, gawa mo marahin. Paano ko kakain yun yan? Teka lang, pipigayin ko yung pawis ko ha. Sandali. We got these beautiful apples for 25 cents each. Yeah, it's a normal price in the public market. Yeah, they're. I saw. They, what are they in the grocery store? They're. Uh, 50, 75. So they're double or triple? Yeah, yeah. double. And I saw a coconut, I need to get the coconut. Okay, let's go. We're done shopping, so time to get a tricycle back home. So it feels cooler here than Angeles. City. City, yeah. Oh, a lot, a lot of cool. Which and makes sense because we're on the ocean. <laughs> yeah, we are in the ocean and the view is so beautiful here. Yeah. And uh, I keep saying a lot of time, this place is very clean. <laughs> <laughs> this place surprisingly is very clean, the street. Yeah, the streets are clean. It's, un it's cleaner than uh, many parts of the Philippines, honestly. Yes. And uh, I really love our neighborhood here that we found the place to stay, the yeah. walking distance to all the street food, water, water means uh, drinking water, and then also uh, the market, which is uh, S and Mall, yeah. buying the groceries and stuff. Yeah, and then this restaurant is like four blocks from our house. It's really nice. Yeah. And uh, this part of town, um, I've noticed a lot of the buildings are uh, concrete. Yes. And so there seems to have been a lot more money here over the years, probably because of the naval base. Yes, and also that, and also I found out you can see the housings here is have a very different design. Like you can see the design. Yeah. I have to say that. I don't know. Architecture? Architecture, maybe. Yeah. The different architecture, you know? Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's all different ages. Yes. Um, some have been rebuilt, some are older but charming. So. Okay, I promised to give you cost of living in Subic Bay, Philippines. Here's my estimated cost of living converted into U.S. dollars if the two of us moved to Subic Bay in the Philippines on a tight budget. But we are all different, so you'll have to put your feet on the ground in Subic Bay to determine your cost of living based on how you would live, shop, eat, and entertain yourself. You will see unfurnished one-bedroom apartments in the range of about 100 to 300 per month for local-style apartments if you're willing to rent for a period of a year or more. The video I'm showing now rents for $250 per month for a two-bedroom. However, a temporary furnished 30-day rental with utilities included on Airbnb started for around $520 per month when we were here. Uh, the, the higher rents would just be during the first month or two. Presumably, you would rent long-term for cheaper if you were retiring here. So for this estimate, I will use $250 per month for rent for a long-term rental, which does not include utilities. Once there, you would put your feet on the ground and pick the right long-term place for you. I will also provide a link to my report, How to Find Perfect Apartments Around the World. Okay, utilities. Subic Bay is at sea level, and so you would probably need to run AC or air conditioning for most of the year. I estimate my electric bill would be around 120 per month, year-round average. Once you acclimate to fans, you should be able to save a little bit on utilities, but you're still going to need air conditioning for much of the year in Subic Bay. Uh, groceries. Based on our time here and the money we spent on groceries, we estimate about 300 per month uh, for groceries for the two of us. But you will need to shop mostly in the public market where the vegetables, fruits, rice, and meats are cheaper. Just shop in the AC grocery stores for things you can't find in the public market. 
Okay, restaurants, if we went out to eat twice per week, once for date night and once for a lunch somewhere, we would spend around $35 per week or $140 per month in restaurants for the two of us. We would eat mostly in the mom and pop style restaurants and food carts rather than the expensive, rather than the expensive expat style restaurants. Okay, cell phone data. The cost to recharge prepaid service is about $16 per month. My Android phone will act as a hotspot so we can both be on the internet at the same time when we are out of the house together. Uh, laundry. We would send our laundry out uh, once per week for about $3 to wash, dry, and fold, so about $16 per month. Water. We would spend about $14 per month on drinking water. They have reverse osmosis re refills for 40 pesos for a 20 liter bottle. That's about the size of the five, uh, five gallon uh, bottles you see in the US. Okay, internet. The internet will be around $50 per month, depending on how fast you need your service. The internet was 15 megabits per second down and eight megabits per second upload speeds. Uh, transportation. We liked the central part of the Lancapo, which is itself walkable from Subic Bay. It's just across the river. The central part of Alangapo is walkable. We walked everywhere, but also rode jeepneys for around 14 pesos or 28 cents per person and per trip. We also took tricycle taxis from time to time for 40 pesos or 80 cents per ride for both of us. We estimate that the two of us would spend around $20 per month on transportation since we would walk mostly. Alcohol. Of course, this is optional. Uh, local beers are a dollar uh, in the grocery stores, and you might be able to save if you watch and buy in bulk. In bars, bars charge in the range of about $1.60 to $2 per beer. So for the two of us, we estimate around $120 per month since we would drink more at home. Entertainment. We would budget about $160 per month for entertainment for the two of us. And of course, that's optional. Okay, so if you add it all up to retire early for cheap in Subic Bay, the cost rents at 250, groceries at 300, utilities at 120, restaurants at 140, the cell at 16, laundry at 16, water at 14, internet at 15, and transportation at $20 comes out to $1,006 US per month. And if you add optional alcohol of 120 per month, you're at 1,126. And if you add another 160 for entertainment, now you're at $1,286 per month. The cost of living is for two people, but it's just an estimate on the low end. For a full understanding of what it will cost you to live here, you must do an exploratory visit and put your feet on the ground. Also, Visit Numbio for Alangapo and add anything you spend money on in your home country that's not mentioned in the table. Our cost of living is much lower than a new traveler's, but we are great bargain hunters. Uh, but there are a few people that can live cheaper than we do. Never move anywhere until you have visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit in this post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending upon your lifestyle. So more typical expat living costs uh, that, uh, in Alangapo range from about $1,500 to $2,500 per month. But people spending that much also have higher incomes or pensions. They often report spending more on entertainment, eating out more, alcohol, and many also have more expensive houses and apartments. If you're going to try to retire cheap offshore, make sure to read my report, The Two Biggest Risks of Retiring Early for Cheap Offshore, which explains why you should have emergency uh, funds available for unexpected large expenses. This video focused only on cheap living. For a full report about Subic Bay, with links and maps to everything discussed, including restaurants, grocery stores, things to do, a nightlife map, where we stayed, visa information, walkability, weather, healthcare, social considerations, 
expat communities, and real estate, plus our overall retirement desirability score for Subic Bay, click the first link in the notes below this YouTube video. Thanks for reviewing our report. Retire early on 1006 per month in Subic Bay in the Philippines. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.